Frank Elko. Allegiance? The Elko Gang. Wow, there's suddenly a lot of gangs, ain't there? Charges are armed robbery, Brahmin wrestling, more robberies, murder, and then just a bunch of armed robberies. So please kill him. I'll give you $500. Your caps, whatever we use. Assisted by his brothers, Bill and Simeon, Frank Elko has turned the Elko Gang into a fearsome crew. The often inebriated outlaws have a reputation for speed and surprise, and while robbery is their priority, they will use lethal force in certain situations. Priority! Sources indicate that the gang uses their stolen property and caps to finance a ceaseless drinking binge at their hideout near the emergency rail station. Priority! When sober, the Elko Gang is reputed to be straight shooting and disciplined, but they're not always sober. Yes, the propensity for consuming alcohol en masse might allow an easier tactical scenario, provided the bounty hunter uses proper stealth and subtlety in their approach. Mm. And then more murder! <laughs> I mean, technically napalm is just like a jelly gasoline. Oh! oh. Are, are you here to test out the flamethrower? The Kaisar has yes. marked you for death. Yes, And the is. Legion obeys. Ready yourself for battle. I'm not ready. Is You'll it... have to give me ten minutes. Wait, okay, fine. Is it just you? Did, you? did you forget your friends this time? He forgot his friends. It was just him. <laughs> the other three re remembered all the other times we've killed them. <laughs> yeah, we won't be doing that. Thanks, though. <laughs> so, oh. Uh, I see a shack. Let's fire a grenade into it, just to be sure. I don't know. It's a... <laughs> Actually damaged the guard, huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow, I got two of them. Oh, I didn't even see that one. Nice. Knock, knock. Heckler and Coke. I'm a Colin. Yes, the Germans Come would on. like to have a word with you. Come on. <laughs> interrupt with their drinking party here. Had enough. Would you guys like to look at the Heckler and Coke weapon we have here? Is Heckler and Pepsi okay? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> We're off to turn in the finger, the wonderful finger we have. Because, 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 because. Because it's a smelly finger we don't want it in our inventory anymore. Ba -ba 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 -ba. What can I do for you, young man? We killed Frank Elko. Give us the reward. Give me money. Yeah, you got the bastard. I hope you killed his brothers, too. They're a Bunch of drunken savages. I think I did. Here's your reward. Good work out there. We didn't kill them intentionally. They were more collateral damage. But yes, they are dead. Jake Burns. Yes, he's part of the Burns clan. Never heard of it? Well, you have now, the Burns clan. Charges are bootlegging, smuggling, murder, some pretty bad things. Not terrible, but not great. Just kill him. You get $500 if he's dead. Jake Burns is responsible for the murder of an NCR official, Captain Gary Winstone, along with his wife and family. Captain Winstone had uncovered information about the Burns moonshine operation and was gathering evidence to support a criminal case against the entire Burns clan. However, Jake and a few brothers tracked him down to his home and then slaughtered the entire family. Captain Skull has requested that any contractors pursuing this bounty consult with him first. It's personal. Tactical considerations? Uh, the Burns family consists of 13 men and 3 women, all of varying age and relation to each other. They are heavily armed and hostile to any and all outsiders. They're all related to each other, and they all have sex all the time. Gross. They're disgusting. They're all from Arkansas. Also hot, but gross. Ew! Re regardless of the circumstances, contractors are advised to utilize stealth. Ugh. Or overwhelming firepower. Ah! <laughs> As clan members will never engage in dialogue with outsiders. Here's the report from Captain Winstone before he got killed. After several weeks consideration, I've gathered enough data to render a criminal case against the Burns clan. They control extensive smuggling operation, selling whiskey, narcotics, and moonshine to raiders, merchants, and anyone with cash. But wait, there's more, including a lone centurion who stops by each week. Based on the brothers' conversation, I suspect the clan is hit, headed by an unseen matriarch who they refer simply to as Grandma. While the brothers are eager to engage... Certain outsiders in commerce, they despise any trace of the NCR or government authority. 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 Vehemently I don't respect or pronounce that! <laughs> Vehemently insisting on their autonomy and independence. Last week, I saw Jake Burns mercilessly beat a trader who simply asked if the Burns traded with the NCR. I've been observing them in proper cover and in plain clothes. I'm just imagining this officer dressed as a tree just going, they'll never fucking suspect me. <laughs> Slowly brings the binoculars up. Meanwhile, Jake Burns is just like, 
I think that fucking tree is looking at me. <laughs> I hate it when trees spy on me. I'm going to beat up this traitor. <laughs> I doubt they spotted me. I'm a tree. <laughs> There's no way they'll suspect this cactus. They exhibit traits indicative of a narrow gene pool, so their collective intelligence is suspect. The grandma notwithstanding, full documentation of their offenses will be submitted along with this report. Except that he died, so he didn't get to. Yes. Yeah, I wanted to talk to you about this case before you set off. This case is personal for me. Oh. Jake Burns and his shit-kicking relatives killed one of my very good friends, Captain Gary Winstone. He won a stone. We had received some reports of an illegal moonshine operation near Crescent Canyon, so he started investigating. Right before Captain Winstone was going to uncover their hideout, well, those bum brothers tracked him down to his home. He was one of the first investigators on the scene, and it was fucking awful. I've seen some heinous shit in my days, but those animals... I estimate that they had their way with Gary's wife before they did both of them in, along with his two kids. Seems excessive. They're fucking savages, and they've got to go. Uh, all right. Now, officially, your only job is to kill Jake Bums, you know, the brother's ringleader. Mm -hmm. However, Winstone's reports indicated that they do operate as a clan with a matriarch at the top, and I want you to kill that old raggedy cunt. Ah, uh, the godmother. If you bad grandma bums, I'll throw in an extra 250 <laughs> caps, no questions asked. I'll kill her, but I ain't bagging her. Now I'm counting on you. All right, we'll go kill this old lady and also her sons and daughters, I guess. Ah, I see a door. Let's enter. It's time to assassinate government-sanctioned murder! Oh, I just killed a dog. Out of ammo here. His last name was Burns. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm no longer sad. That was just too funny. Oh, not their pet little bull rat. No, he's fine. He's fine. He's fine. He's not hurting anybody. <laughs> boss rat. Boss rat. Oh my god, I love you, boss rat. You're my new favorite friend. Yeah, look, he's digging up a tomb for these guys to be buried in. Thanks for helping, boss rat. Jake's shack. Hey. Oh, why didn't I think Jake come would be on. in here? <laughs> oh, come on. Close quarters, my friend. Close quarters. Hey, I'm not on fire. What do I care? Jake Burns finger. And there we go. We've gotten the man killed. But where's the grandma hiding? Ah, they were eating human flesh. That's unacceptable. That's some hills have eyes shit. Notice how all the birds look the same. <laughs> Limited gene pool, if you ask me. <laughs> yep, that would explain it. Oh, there's a note on the desk. Oh, there is? Jake, I know you'll do the right thing, honey. That old ranger will hurt our family, and family always comes first. You take your brothers and take care of them. Make sure there ain't no witnesses. If you want, you can take some meat from the young ones. I'll cook it up just like veal, the way my baby likes it. Well, my baby, <laughs> my baby. <I'll> love... <laughs> Grandma will always take care of you, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> P.S. Come tuck me in tomorrow night. I need some company and your brothers are occupied. They're having sex with each other because we do that incest inbreeding. I'm gonna hurt you. You're ready to get burned, You're Grandma Burns! Bitch. Okay, well, Grandma Burns has been burned. Ah, deliverance. It's a rolling pin. <laughs> she had a custom rolling pin. I don't really want that. I'm gonna be <laughs> honest. I have no desire for it. Yeah, sure enough, there were more Burnses down here. Sucker. Let's ruin them! Show the burns! Oh no, good grief. Uh, yep, they were making moonshine. I didn't... You know, he mentioned it earlier. I didn't say anything about it. But he's like, they were running an illegal moonshining operation. And I was like, the apocalypse <laughs> happened 200 <laughs> years ago. I don't think there's really laws on who can make what for moonshine. Yeah, prohibition doesn't really exist anymore. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they all have this the most dumbest... Billy Bob's moon pie? <laughs> well, I can't say no to a moon pie. <laughs> okay. Radon crown col- <laughs> Alright. What can I do for you, young man? We killed Jake Burns! Along with his entire family. Let me verify that. God damn right that's his finger. He was a real piece of shit, and we're all glad to see him go. Well, I'm happy to know that Jake's dead. I've got to ask you. Did you off Grandma Bums, too? The entire Bums family is dead, including old Graham Graham. <laughs> That's good. Damn good, in fact. As promised, here's another 250. You did me right proud on this one, kid. Good job. 
Yep, we certainly avenged that one dead NCR ranger. He's just an ex-girlfriend that he wanted us to assassinate. Oh my god! <laughs> That's dark. Doing his dirty work. It says go talk to Larry Skull before we go after the bounty. Alright, Larry. Oh. You know we're going to go to Boulder City Jail, and he's going to say, That guy's a real son of a bitch. And that's all he's going to say. <laughs> you got anything else? No, that's it. I just wanted you to come all the way back here so you can tell me that. I'm lonely. 